Now, despite her many awards, costume designer Jenny Bevan was little known outside the world of film until her own choice of outfit catapulted her into the public eye. First, Stephen Fry caused outrage, joking that she looked like a bag lady at the BAFTAs. She's since become a feminist heroine, and I went to meet her to talk costumes, clothes and controversy. The way I work is I love to, having sort of really thought about the images in my head, I then literally make mood boards with the old-fashioned cut and paste. We are not things. We are not things. Where is she taking them? I'm very proud of Mad Max, I have to be honest. Um, Really what I did was, I did a massive amount of just research on post-apocalyptic images, you know, and that there was lots of stuff that we could then bring into the, the mix. In some ways, when costume really works, you watch a film, it becomes your reality for those two hours. You don't necessarily notice the clothes. I think, you see, I think it completely underlines and supports the actor and the character. And in a way, most films, you shouldn't notice it. I really think it should disappear into the into, into the mix so that when you see the story you just completely believe them. I do things like Jane Austen. Again I try and make it as real as possible because again the audience then just believe it. Do you think clothes are as important as costume in the film in terms of what they say about us? Probably in a film because you're doing it in a much more condensed time. You're probably condensing it and, and making it a little stronger as a statement about someone. Um, but I think all of us have a lot to say about ourselves and what we wear. Too much? Does it matter too much? I don't... I think sometimes people make more of it than we intended. I mean, that brings us round to the controversy caused by your own clothes and what Stephen Fry said about you at the BAFTAs. I mean, I'm not particularly politically correct, but I winced slightly when I heard that joke, calling you a bag lady. Did you? I never heard it because I was backstage, so, I mean, it was fine. You didn't bristle when you heard it afterwards? No. I, I, you know, I'm not the world's greatest dresser. He's an old friend and it really, you know, didn't matter. Then, of course, you went to the Oscars and there's that famous picture of people not clapping as you walk down to collect your award. The whole point of what I wore, and I can see now I did not take it far enough, um, was that it was a homage to Mad Max. What another lovely day. So many people have sort of hailed you because they say you've broken the rules. Did you feel like you were breaking the rules? Well, I think I've probably broken the rules, but I've always broken the rules. I'm, I was rebellious from a very early age. Um, but I didn't mean to break the rules. And the whole thing of clapping was ridiculous because you cannot clap every moment of that ceremony. I don't know, it seems to have had a very positive effect on women and people feeling they really can be themselves rather than, um, you know, having to dress up. And for many women, you've become a sort of feminist hero. Inadvertent icon, I think, yes, completely inadvertent. What do you make of those rules, that sort of tyranny of how you're supposed to look and what you're supposed to wear? I hope I fed into the positive aspects of that discussion. I think the whole thing about what you're wearing rather than the film is crazy. However, it's just become the way it is, and I'm not sure... I'm up for changing things like that. And what about the irony of a woman who spent her whole life really successfully working with costume, now being criticised for her own clothes? I spent my, my, most of my career absolutely designing clothing for people, but it isn't my, but clothes themselves are not an interest to me. The telling of stories with clothes is a massive interest, and then the clothes themselves become very interesting. But in my real life, I have no interest in clothes. I do not spend my time looking for fashion magazines or, or shopping. You say you want to use this for good. What would your message be then? You don't have to be incredibly thin and look amazing um, to be successful and be strong. And, um, and I think it's just, it is quite nice to be yourself. Obviously respectful, but, but to be yourself. Jenny Bevan, thanks very much. Thank you.